boys? Yeah, Larry, thanks. Oh, that's all right. Hey, listen, maybe you'd better take another one so the boys can see how I get that leg drive. No, just give me one of you standing right there. Oh, all right. Wait a minute, about uh, uh, crouching at the start. No, wait, wait, wait a minute. Um, yeah, this would be better running. Uh, well, look, but uh, how about this? Would this? Yeah, this, this has got it. This has got a feel to it. Could I have a statement from you for the morning paper? Why, yes, you can say that Larry Haynes is. I did oh, my it's I you. travel in the wake of Dundee. Very good, Bobby. Keep that bar at 12 feet. Watch that arm pull. Okay, coach. How's it doing, big fella? How's he doing? Uh, yeah. He got one out 51 feet this afternoon. Yeah? How are you getting along, kid? Oh, uh, I do everything the coach tells me, but I can't seem to get any height. You will. Just run up to that bar and throw your heart over. You know. <clears throat> I get my heart over, but I can't get my feet over. <laughs> Come on, oh, get look. out of the way. Look, I see the prima donna's having his picture taken again. And are you fellas all ready? Okay. Yeah. Now, don't forget, when I get my foot over, hit it. Okay. All right. Here I come. Come on. Get it? Sure did. Say, maybe we'd better take another one to be sure. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> he certainly <laughs> gives out, doesn't he? Yeah, and... Uh, the funny part about it is he's just as good as he thinks he is. Listen, fellas, I've got a great gag. You get down low with your camera, see? And shoot me just as I come over the hurdle, and it looks just like I'm going over the moon. No, we got all we can use. Well, I don't like to tell you fellas your business, but it's a great shot. I'm sure you want Larry to tell you how he set that record last year. Oh, gee, huh? thanks, Beck. Well, you see, it was the 14th of June. The stadium was filled with just people. Just a minute. We heard all about that last year. But it was in May. That guy's a shrinking violet, ain't he? Ah, oh, a bevy of women. A veritable cubby. Hello, Gwen. <laughs> Hello, Larry. Hello, Mary. Hello, Speck. Hello, Nip. Hello, Tuck. No, you're wrong. That's Nip and that's Tuck. Isn't that right? No. no. I'm sorry, the whole thing happened. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. Hi, Nip. Hello, Nip. Hi, hon. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, Nip, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Well, 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 the little lassies just couldn't stay away, eh? What did I tell you, girls? For your information, we were just passing by. I know, I know. Now, don't tell me. I get it. You were on your way to market for mother. Look at your man mountain out there. Now, let her go. There you are. What did I tell you? Doesn't that guy ever get tired? Speck, why did I ever choose one of those strong, silent men? It's an old tribal custom. Uh, I beg your pardon. Uh, I beg your pardon. But the coach would like to know if the track team can tear itself away from the girls. He'd like to have a few words with them. Uh, will you step over now, or am I too inquisitive? Well, so long, Gwen. See you later. Goodbye, Larry. Yeah, goodbye, uh, uh, so long, girls. Well, that's enough for a while. Come on. Gwen, you're absolutely silly about Larry, aren't you? Maybe I am. Well, she's so Oh, I don't think it's conceit. Well, whatever it is, he's going to be much nicer, too. My boys, you win the intercollegiate. That's the reason I want every one of you boys to get out and work hard from now on. And see if we can't bring that cup back to Raleigh. You get me? Yeah, sure. sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm running the high and low hurdles, so that'll give us two first. You think you'll be able to do the 100-yard dash in the mile, too? Well, I don't know about the mile. It's a little long for me. Oh, yeah. oh, the mile ought to be a cinch for you. Yeah? Yeah, we'll let you chase a cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> He's always clowny. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, you sprinters and hurdlers. 
Get out and do a fast lap. The rest of you just jog around a couple of times. Let's go, gang. Hey, coach, why don't you take that swell head down a peg? Smiley, that's where you're wrong. Wrong? Why, yes. His self-assurance is what makes him a great track man. Now, he'll probably go out and win both hurdles at that. Well, I still think you're wrong. We'll see. <clears throat> Probable winners in the intercollegiate. Oh, swell. How does it look? Well, with some swell performances and two miracles, we might tie Stanton. Gee, as bad as that, huh? Well, we can count on a, a first and the two hurdles. Has Larry got you doing it, too? <laughs> hey, by the way, how's he making out in the Joe Senior contest? Oh, nothing to it. He's way out front. <laughs> Why shouldn't he be? He's the most popular man in class with the babes. Yeah, but that doesn't make him any easier to live with. And once he gets to be Joe Senior, ooh. Mm. <laughs> hey, hey, I was just thinking. <laughs> what would happen if he, if he wasn't elected? <laughs> uh, that would be just the best break we ever had. But Oh, what's the <laughs> use of thinking of it? Look at all those votes. Yeah, yeah. Who counts them? I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you <laughs> suggesting that I'd tamper with these votes? <laughs> that I, the editor of this paper, would do anything crooked in an election? <laughs> <laughs> Well, now, let me show you how I really did this. Well, there's a hurdle here, and a hurdle here. Oh, and you're a hurdle, and you're a hurdle. All right, fellas, now get down like hurdles. No, no, these were low hurdles. Well, there's 100,000 people in the stand. All eyes on little old Larry. I props at the starting line, pouring like a spring. Suddenly, the gun. I'm off. I'm over the first hurdle, way out in the lead. But I kick the second hurdle, and I lose my stride. I pick it up on the third hurdle, over the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, in perfect form. Suddenly, a terrific burst of speed, I sprint for the finish line and... <laughs> I don't have to tell you boys the finish. You know who won. It'd be all right if we could only cure him of that terrible inferiority complex. Shot, <laughs> Sorry, fellas, just practicing with the old mistress. Yeah. Well, it's nice to see you crack a book, even if it's only in fun. What's the matter with you? Didn't you get enough of a workout today? Oh, I'm not getting that last little snap into it. Well, you better get a snap into it and get some clothes on if we're going over to that Theta house. Oh, what's the matter? I'm not naked. Do one thing, will you? As a personal favor to me? Sure, what? Shave. Oh, I shaved yesterday. 
All right, if you want to leave Mary all cut and bleeding. Say, I don't go in for that heavy date, and I'll leave that up to fellas like Larry. Did you ever figure you might be missing a lot of fun? I'm satisfied with a nice, quiet, sensible girl like Mary. Yeah, I know all about those nice, quiet, sensible girls, just like a lot of firecrackers. Not a sound out of them until they explode. Nah. Say, I'm not like you, walking up to every girl I meet in the street and kissing her. I'll bet you get a lot of slaps in the face, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I get a lot of kisses, too. <laughs> oh, pull a knife for me, huh? Yeah, pull a knife for me. Going places, I've hit my wagon to you. What does this remind you of, dear? <laughs> the night we stole away from the Kai Pai dance. What are you thinking about, honey? The night we stole away from the Kai Pai dance. Oh. Remember they were playing this the, the night we stole away from the Kai Pai dance? And we parked on a hill, and there was a golden moon in a velvet sky. Do you remember? Uh -uh. <laughs> I do. Why don't you just go on and play? <laughs> yeah. Isn't it lovely out here? Mm-hmm. Oh, just no hand grip. You know, I gotta keep your forearm and wrist in shape. Oh, that music. Always reminds me of the night we stole away from the Kai Pai dance. Remember? It was just a year ago tonight. You know, in two weeks, the intercollegiates will be here, and I shouldn't be up so late. Lucky star. We're going places, I've hitched my wagon to you. Lucky star, roll, pick up the traces, we're bound to see the thing through, we're bound to see it through. Keep chiming, here we go with the wagon load of my dreams. I said, oh, you lucky star, roll, let's pull together. Wait, how 
How can you sit there so calmly when I make an entry? Isn't your heart doing nipper? Oh, Beth, save me. Save me from a fate worse than death. You better lay off of him. He'll have you in tomorrow morning's headlines. And leave you out for once. Cute, kid. Come on, Dal. Don't waste all that good stuff on the college editor. wondering how long a girl can play second fiddle to a 16-pound shot. I wonder what's the matter with her. That's funny, isn't it? Oh, yes. It's all just a great, big, wonderful dream. <laughs> here before the trouble starts. to allow such a thing to pass unnoticed? No. no. Well, uh, shall we have a look at these here now amazing social graces? Yes. yes. Then gird up your loins and follow me. Hey, what's all the excitement about? Well, read it for yourself, brother. Concealed amazing social graces. Go ready. Oh. <laughs> about the election? Did I hear about the election? Why, you dumb bunny, don't you realize I threw my votes over to him? about that election, Larry. I did everything I could. Hooray! Thanks, Beck. Hooray! I'm sure you did. Maybe I can do something for you sometime. Uh, well. Well, fellas, I... Oh, yeah. Quiet. Ah, tis ye old editor. 
editor. Let's have a speech from the old letter. Yeah. Come on, 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 come
My dear Faustus, come, come, let us improve each shining hour while we're waiting for old Professor E. Flat, who seems to be just a little late. And may I suggest that during his absence, Professor Early of the Raleigh Rad take his place? No! Larry Hayes? Yes! yes. Larry Hayes. <laughs> Fellow students. Yeah, man. <laughs> it seems that Professor E. Flat has probably forgotten this class, and it's been suggested that we have a lecture with a new twist. What's your name? <laughs> Bobby's just a little tired. So, I'll now introduce the subject of my lecture, which will be the influence of the Pilgrim Fathers upon popular music. Now, if two of you will come up here and improvise on the pianos, I shall proceed. <laughs> Now, when Priscilla gave the works to poor Miles Spanish, and Miles was burned like well done whole wheat toast, his language was, to say the least, outlandish, and echoed round that stern and lock bound crew, till in a fit of pique he called him that pilgrim sheep John Alden, who grabbed his hat and bloomers from the shelf. And this is how young John spoke for himself. Thou art my baby. Thou hast been knocked down. Thou art a swell bitch. What? Locked down. With arms the kimbo. Thou hast this kimbo. Out on a limbo. Dost consider that small. Of what it taken. Thou hast a low dear. Why not forsaken? Love of the old year, come let thy hair down, give in and bear down, be the irresistible baby thou Thou art my baby, thou hast not thou. Thou art a swell bitch, why keep me locked up? With arms akimbo, <laughs> thou hast this thimble. Well, on a limbo, just consider that small. Of what it taken, thou hast a low dear. Then why not forsake it? Love all the more dear. Come let thy hair down, give in and bear down. Be the irresistible baby. Oh. <laughs> when? What are you giving me? You haven't fallen for that massive muscle, have you? Why? Why? Because you're my girl. Oh, am I? Why, certainly. Well, thanks for telling me. What do you mean? No girl's going to pass me up for a guy like that. No? No. No girl but me. Try another one. And put some uh in it, will you?
Thanks. You wouldn't like me to polish that shot for you, would you? Oh, no, thanks. This is all right for practice. Oh, Joe Sr., look out for your arm. What's the matter with it? Well, you're liable to break it patting yourself on the back. Oh. How was that one? 49-1. Not bad, eh? No, not bad. Only Cal Yorker Stanton did 52 feet last Saturday. You know, Don, we're counting on you to win the shot in the discus. The big meet's only three days away, and you're away out of form, and it doesn't seem to bother you. Is anything the matter? No, just that I'm a great competitive athlete, Coach. I'll tell you what's the matter. In the first place... Now, in the second place... <laughs> Say, you'll excuse me, won't you, Coach? Yeah, and in the third place, he's our great competitive athlete. But he does all his competing in the sorority house. Maybe he'll snap out of it in time. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it'll snow on Thursday or Saturday. We'll call the meet off on it too. Oh, what's the use? Hello, Gwen. Hello, Don. I got your note this morning. Say I'm supposed to be in training, but I guess a couple of dances won't hurt me. I'll go. What do you think? I think we made a sap out of a darn good white man. Say, whose idea was this, anyway? Hey, Don, why don't you come on out here? You know I want to talk to you. Just a second. I just finished saying it. What, again? My dear fellow, you don't seem to understand. But to an athlete, appearance is half the battle. Come on, sit down. I want to talk to you. Hey, what's that stuff? Oh, uh, lilac. Witch hazel dries up the tissues of the skin. Well, get her. Hey, I've got something on my mind. Yeah? What is it? Oh, Don, you're off on the wrong foot. A couple of weeks ago, you were satisfied with a quiet, nice girl who didn't interfere with your work and... And, and, and now you shave twice a day and use perfume. And, and what's much more important, you were pathetic with that discus today. Yeah? Yeah. Well, two weeks ago, you were telling me that I was missing a lot of fun when you were right. Yeah, I know. And what's more about that nice girl stuff? Well, Murray's a nice kid, but she's not as smooth as Gwen. Oh, Don, don't be a chump. Gwen's only making a play for you just to make a goat out of Larry. <laughs> yeah? Maybe that's why she sent me a bid to the Thady Informal, eh? And when a gal invites you to that one, you stay invited. Hey! There's a sale at the Boston store on men's silk underwear. <laughs> You're telling me? Hi, Mary. Hello, Bobby. This is inside. Yeah, I know. You mind if I sit down here for a moment? Well, come on. What is it? Don't tell me you're just beginning to appreciate my fatal beauty. <laughs> yeah. You know, to tell the truth, I had a great idea a little while ago, but now I'm wondering if it's so hot. Well, after a start like that, you know you're not going to get away without telling me. You know, Larry's a pretty swell fellow. And so? And so, you ought to invite him to the theater informal. Let me get this straight. All right. You're Don's roommate. Right. Me to invite Larry to the sorority dance. Right. You see? Good night, Don. That's a grand picture. Those must have been great old days. Say, are there any dragons that you want to win? No. <laughs> oh! Don't forget, you accepted my bid to our dance. 
That's just one thing that I won't forget. Good night. Good night. Hello, Bobby. Hello, Mary. Hello. Oh, has Mary been around? Oh, sure. He's been around all evening. I just invited him to the informant. I don't know where he went. He must be around somewhere. Nice going, Mary. Good night. Good night, Bobby. Do you want to dance? No. When? Put your arm around me. Mary. Yes? Put your head on my shoulder. But, Larry, we shouldn't do this. Go ahead. Put your head on my shoulder. and I'm going to give you my fraternity pen. But I don't want it. When I give it to you, you take it. Yes, Larry. Now, give me a pen. But I don't want it. 
Give me your pen. jam like that. Bad enough being engaged, but when it's a wrong girl. Wow. Well, don't you with me? Why don't you speak to me? Oh. Uh, I've never been engaged. Condemned ate a hearty breakfast.
scoreboard will show you the point standing of the various teams. That was Bobby Barnes of Raleigh. He cleared the ball in the pole hole. 12 feet. And a boy for me! Bobby! And a boy, Bobby! And a boy, Bobby! <laughs> Official results of the two mile run. First, Black of Stanton. Second, Hawk of Rawl. Third, Schwartz of Xavier. Schwartz of Xavier. And fourth, Carl of what? Time, nine minutes. And 32 seconds. That last foot of York was good for 52 feet. <laughs> That's Don Cooper of Raleigh in the shot foot ring. This is his last try. York of Stanton, second, Cooper of Raleigh, third, Gibson of Mammoth, fourth, Gilbert of Tech. We are likely to sneak in for a 30. Well, we could use a couple of points, since Don couldn't grab a first in that shot. Now, well, don't start worrying. Everything's going to be all wet. Uh, or I mean all right. Oh, oh, yeah, you've got me as worried as you are. Oh. Stay in there, Bobby. We're going to need every point we can get. And then some. Quiet for the low hurdle. Quiet for the low hurdle. Come to your marks. Get set. Coach. Oh, forget it, boy. Nice try. Sure, kid. You can't win all the time. Why not? The bar in the pole vault has just been raised to 13 feet. Bobby Barnes of Raleigh is about to vault. Hello, Harry. Hi, Graham. Do me a favor, will you? Give this to Don Cooper for me. Sure, I will. Here, Stooge. Oh, I hope. Kind of high, isn't it? You telling me? Sure. Thank you. How does that feel, boy? 
way. I hope I never see another herd of... Oh, stop squawking. It might have been worse. Yeah? How? It could have been me. Oh. Here's a note from some girl for Larry. I never want to see another girl. Who's it from? I'm, I'm sure, sure it was all a mistake. Entries in the high hurdles report at starting line. Think you can make it? Think I can make it? You got, man. What it takes to break a record. Okay, let's go. Follow me. Come to your mark. Get set. secret you got to win. It's a four-letter word, beginning with G and ending with N. Oh, and I don't mean vanilla. Stanton is 49. We're still three behind. What's the 17? Mammoth 12. We don't have to figure on those two at all. Got those out. Official results of the high hurdles. First, Mary Haynes of Raleigh. Second, Walsh of Butler. Third, Burke of Stanton. Fourth, Alan Mouse. Time, 14 and... Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. That's Cal York of Stanton in the district ring. This is his last try. was good for 163 feet. Now, Don Cooper in the discus ring. He's got a tough throw to beat. Next 
story will be by Bobby Barnes of Raleigh. Raleigh. <laughs> Anything I can do to help you? Yeah. Keep quiet. Get over that bar next time. Here he comes. I've got an idea. Listen, we get over that bar and we win this meet. You've got to do it, Bobby. I got to do it. Look at the expression on that bar. It's like the Empire State Building. Quiet for the ball. Quiet for the ball. Here goes Evan. No, that isn't enough. We'll still be one point behind. Now, you've got to win. Yeah? Why didn't you two guys think of that earlier this afternoon? Now, wait a minute. How would you like to know the difference between nip and tuck? <laughs> huh? You'd like to know, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, but what has that got to do with... You get over that bar and I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah. hinges on this next wall. If he makes it, Raleigh wins by one point. That is, if he makes it. Thank you. 